expected that that will, well, it's already up 77% year over year, likely to be up further. Some families will pay as much as 60, sorry, $6,000 to heat wow. their homes. Wow. Is the government really going to tell them that they have to pay more for this government's failures on the environment? Here, here. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Canadians understand that putting a price on pollution is the most effective way to fight climate change. And in fact, Mr. Speaker, one of the Canadians who was early to advocate this economically effective approach was none other than Preston Manning. I think it's also worth pointing out that our price on pollution is revenue neutral. All the money goes back to Canadian families. A family in Alberta is getting back more than $1,000. That's true of a family in Saskatchewan as well. A fam Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Revenue neutral. It's not neutral for the taxpayer who are paying thousands of who will pay thousands of dollars more in the tax than they get back in any rebates, according to the government's own parliamentary budget officer. If the government really wanted to fight greenhouse gas emissions, they'd approve projects that do that. For example, there were 15 LNG projects proposed when this government took office. Not a single one has been built. The only one that is under construction was approved by the previous Conservative government, and it required subsequent governments exempt it from the carbon tax in order for it to be economical and to speed up its approval by ignoring C-69. Will the government get out of the way and let our projects go ahead to protect the earth? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, our government bought and will complete the building of the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Our government absolutely understands that LNG is an important transition fuel and plays a valuable role for Canada and the world. And I do want to point out that we understand projects, for projects to work, they have to meet environmental standards and Indigenous people have to be consulted. That's how we're going to get projects in Canada built, including necessary renewable energy projects, Mr. Speaker. Yep. There are the opposition. Well, it's true that they have to meet environmental standards. We had real environmental standards under the previous Conservative government. And in fact, the only way that the LNG Canada project in Western Canada went ahead was by exempting it from the new anti-development C-69. I, and she's right also that First Nations have to be consulted. One of them is a, an Indigenous grandmother uh, from the Heisla First Nation who told me that LNG Canada and projects like it mean that her... Uh, autistic grandchild will have the resources for treatment. That means help for First Nations, paychecks for our people, and clean energy for the world. Why won't they get out of the way and let it happen? Yeah. Yeah.